Welcome back to Chasender MTB. I'm Cooper Chasen, and today we're going to be going over the Raceface Atlas pedal. Raceface had a reboot of their Atlas pedal, which was a great pedal, but now it comes in the metal form, which I personally really prefer, and we're going to talk a little bit about this pedal today. So I've been riding these pedals for a couple of months now, and I got some great stuff to say about it and some stuff that I think they could change. So we're going to be talking a little about the see if it's the pedal for you, but first let's go ahead and look at this pedal. This pedal, like I said, has an aluminum body and has 10 pins on each side coming with a total of 20 pins each pedal. Let's go ahead and talk about installation. Installing these pedals, like any other pedal, is super easy to put on, didn't run into any troubles along the way. Uh, none of the threads are messed up or anything like you'd expect for such a good brand like Raceface. As long as you've got an Allen key set with an 8mm, you should be able to put these on relatively easy, just like me. Let's go ahead and talk about grip and performance on the Raceface Atlas pedal. I love the way these pedals feel. You never feel like they're going to rip off your feet. They stick to it consistently throughout your entire ride, no matter if it's a rocky technical section, something that uh, you're hopping around a lot, or going on some jumps, or just going on some sketchy little stuff that you expect your feet not to fly off. Uh, I never ran into any troubles with this pedal, and it did really well in the grip department. Especially around corners, sometimes you get a little bit of sliding on your feet, but like I said, 10 pins on each side. It's really nice, I like it. Just be sure and wear shin pads, because man, these things can get your leg pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and talk about a little bit of this how this pedal is built. Uh, like I said, 10 pins each side, each pedal, <laughs> so 20 pins a pedal, uh, metal body, and of course, a rebuild kit from Raceface if you need to get one, so that's super nice. Uh, just put that new spindle and the new little bearings in there, and you're ready to go. They also come with a couple of replacement pins and some washers if you want to get the pins down a little bit in the grip range. So what about the metal body? Does that really affect you? Do you prefer a composite pedal? Me, personally, I like a metal body of my pedals, and it does really well. Of course, you can see in the shots, it has a couple of scratches, a couple of nicks on it, but that's not a big deal because, I mean, that's character, right? These scratches and little dents haven't really done anything to the performance, at least I could not tell if they took it apart, there might be something. But I haven't realized it, they've held up really good to all pedal strikes, and I really, really like how this pedal is built. It's super tough and durable. Let's go ahead and talk about looks. Let's dive into that for a little bit. For me, I really love this way this pedal looks. Uh, the colors burst and just add tons of flavor to your bike. And also the topographical map on the pedal is a really cool idea and I think they pulled it off really well. These pedals come in a load of different colors and options if you need them. I went for the turquoise color because that matches my hubs and some of my fork caps. What about the pricing? These pedals do come in around 170 bucks, which is not terrible, but you could get a composite pedal for much less. And you know, it's a pedal. Why do you need to spend that much money on it? But the way everything is going with mountain bike supplies and components, it's not too terrible. And I would say it's definitely worth your money because these are great pedals that offer a crazy amount of grip and they look pretty darn cool. So a quick review. What are some things I love about this pedal and what are some things I really don't? Starting off number one, what do I love about this pedal? First of all, it looks great. Second of all, it is incredible grip. No matter if you're going through a rocky, rooty area that your feet are hopping around, going around corners where your feet usually slip off, or jumping where you need that extra grip to throw off your whips, this thing holds up phenomenally. Three, the construction is really tough. Now, there are some things I don't really like about this pedal. Well, there's really only one thing that I can say, and that is it will tear up your leg if those pins get to it, which usually that only happens if your foot slides off, and I've only had that happen a couple of times, a handful of times, and that was my fault. But be sure to wear shin pads if you're learning a new trick like a crank spin, because this will light you up. Other than that, I've had no problems with this pedal and really enjoy it, and I think it's been a great addition to my bike. 
If you feel like having exceptional grip in every circumstance and looking good while doing it, go over to Race Face, get on their Atlas pedal. It is truly a great pedal and I highly recommend it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was a little fun and I hope you learned a lot about the Race Face pedal, the Atlas. If this video helped you to make a decision on this pedal or if you just enjoyed it, go to my channel, be sure and subscribe, like this video, share it, and get to shredding.